Hello, this your girl Earl from Embracing Reboy. And we got a box opening. This is from, um, as you can see, from um, Black All Associates Incorporated. It is a masterpiece doll. It is the Sydney Scout. Oh, goodness. I got to stand up there. I can't even get the whole box in so I'm gonna try to get her out this box and then show her to you guys. And then once I get her out, but if anybody is interested in getting a masterpiece doll, now I got this from Miss Shirley Blackall from off the masterpiece site under Rare Finds. Um, but back in 2016, I bought my Gianna masterpiece doll from the Sam site. Oh my goodness. From the Sam Lee. But if you're in, you no, know, she knows the face the other one. The other one is 47 inches. And this one, oh my goodness. This one here, so, oh, excuse me. Supposed to be 37 inches. Excuse me. I just want to say. Okay. Oh. Let me see something. Let me show you how she comes. This is her stand. And. I don't know if you can see that. No. Oh. She's so big. I don't even know if y'all can see it. Let me see. I'm coming back around and see if y'all can see if it's in frame. Yeah, you can see her face. Okay. Let me get her out the box. And then I'll set her up beside me and then y'all can see her. And she came actually with blonde hair, blue eyes, but I asked her if they could have changed the eyes for me. And she is number 104 out of 350. This is her certificate. She's attached to her wedding stand. Oh my God. And I had wanted them to change the wig as well. But at first she said she didn't, she'll see if she had another wig that could fit her. And she's bald jointed. She got joints at the knees. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's set her here. Take her here. Oh man, I love her eyes. I do love her eyes. I'm glad I put these up. The knees. Oh, let me see if I can zoom in on her eyes. Well, better yet, let me bring her up close so y'all can see her face. Oh, oh goodness. I don't want her wig to fall off. Can you see her? Isn't she pretty? And what it is, I, I got Gianni. Gianni is 40 something inches. But I wanted. Oh. And see, she got ball joints in hand. And now, since I'm into the ball joint, I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to get a taller thing. And her way can be unattached and um, attached again. Because, and I told her not to glue the weight down. And I want to think I didn't get my Gianni way glued down either because I can have the option to change out the weights. So let me see if I got. Okay, yeah, you can see her. Let me back up I just a tad without knocking everything down. Hopefully. <laughs> Hold up, let me. Okay. And I actually love her name, Sydney. Oops. Hold up. I got a few things. Pro Ooh. Hold on. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to. But. Also, I got 
I had picked up a couple of things from her, and when I tell you, um, and some things I had, and a few things I had got, when I had found her, because I've been looking for a little, I wanted another little toddler, but I asked her if they had a dog wig, and they found one that I can change her wig out, and this is a darker wig that I can change her hair out to, that the um that I got with her too. And this here has the bangs, so I'll probably change her out and show y'all her in the darker wig as well. And I don't know if Miss Shirley remember me years ago when I had um Louis Gianni through her. Because back in the day, you could have, um, they do offer layaway when they do have dolls available. And I, and anybody who likes this one, there is one just like this, or uh, was like this, on eBay. And I got her this little play toy here. The little baby stacker. And that's her toy. And I'm going to show you a couple of other things that I got for her some of her little dresses because she gonna be my little um, Sunday best little toddler. I'm gonna pull this way back a little bit from out her face. But I do like her with the blonde wig and I, like I said we'll try her on the darker wig. She got teeth showing on top and bottom and Lavender is trying to sabotage my video. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can hush Lavender. Hold on one second. And like I say, if you're interested, in, and she's by um, Monica Levine, and I don't know, I don't think they still make the Masterpiece dolls anymore, but you can, I, me and Birdie is a part of the, as well as Bohemian Doll Lover, we are part of some of the um, Masterpiece doll groups on um, Facebook. And then you can put in Masterpiece Vinyl. These are vinyl dolls. And they are ball jointed. She got... Now, my 40-something inch toddler one that I have, she has 11 joints. This one here has joints in her elbow. I don't think it. And then she got joints in her knees where she can sit, she can hold things and stuff like that. And I'll show y'all some of her original pictures at the end of this video. With um her with her blue eyes before I had them changed because I had them change the eyes out before she was shipped because I personally don't know how to change the dolls' eyes out but they are videos on YouTube and it looks very technical to do but like I said I got her for Sunday best so I'm gonna show y'all a couple of her Sunday best dresses so this is a box opening as well as a mini haul. They say she weighs two to three T. So let's see what we got. But, but not only she'll be wearing this size, but my um taller that I'm making um I'll show y'all some of the this is a um An iris and ivy um, dress. This is a court dress. It's pink with the gold and the ribbon. It's, you got the um, chiffon and um, tulle and slip and satin. And it has the court to go with it with the pink buttons trimming gold. And this is pink and gold. And, that's, um, and like I said, this one is by Iris and Ivy. And what can fit her will uh, fit the other toddler, so I'm not worrying about it. Because it will get used. <clears throat> this is another little one. This is chocolate with the gold. And it's chocolate velour. And then you got the beige and cream and two uh, crinoline slip built in. With the tool and things there. 
I hope that he's a, is in frame because this is a lands in. Miss Nancy got a lot of things for lands in. One thing about lands in clothes, um, it's good quality. Um, and this is like a paint for low. And she get put a little collar shirt underneath that. This is another one of her dresses here with the black velvet and then you've got the fuchsia paint which this is the color she come in so this you know this color look pretty on her with the bow tie in the back <laughs> now this one might be big <laughs> oh shoot no wonder that this one is a three well, this is a 3T. I didn't read. Yeah, this is a 3 Because they said she weighed 2T, 3T. But this probably could fit her like a gown. But this one is um a yellow, blue, and look like gray. But this, um, oh, God. It looks almost like that wrong. So, but I know that ain't what it's made out of. Like. But this one is a 3T. And it has the um, bow in the back. And it too has this, most of them got the slip and crinoline built into it. This one is a 2T. And that's her Laura Ashley dress here. And it has that, um blue gray looking color with the slip satin and crinoline both underneath then you got this lace on top which has the sparkle glitter and you got the rose cassage right here around the, the ribbon go across the bodice tie in the back See, she should have came a little earlier because they just no, it wasn't house too. It was gang of my thing. Was the um the the theme Thursday a while back. But anyway, this is the um house tooth brand. It was almost like a wool blend. Once again, that can go with a black turtleneck or less one of those collar shirts. All she can wear. And I like to buy sleeveless dresses for them so that way they can wear it all year round. With a sweater, a cape, or a low bolero. This is a children, please. Rose color, mauve, pinkish. With the rose gold on top. And rose print. And that's from the children, please. And this one is a size... Oh, God. I, I really need... 2T. I really This is another children place one, similar to the rose color one, but this one is red, and it has the um, kick pleats all the way around, a line shaped dress from children place. This is a size three T. It got the um, black velvet um, ribbon go across the bodice with a little tiny flat bow right here, and button down the back. A line shaped dress.
And this is a, um, what do you call it? Wonder Nation. This is cream and gold. Cream satin with the little fur bolero. But see, she can wear these little bolero jacket with any dress. Once again, printed and slip both in. And this dress actually has the um, tie in the back. I don't know what size shoe she weighs, though. That's the only thing. I don't know what size shoe she weighs. And when she puts on this one here, one of the little ones will put on this one here to match. That's the little one. And when she put on this silvery blue looking color one, one of the little ones will put on the blue one. You see what I'm saying? To have them, you know, dress in the same colors. That's on a few of them. She got the little, little one to match. And this is another holiday dress here that I really, really like. And y'all know I love things with sparkles. And look at that one. This is a pewter and silver with the black um, lace overlay with the sparkles. Slip, crindling, satin, slip, everything underneath. Tie in the bag. That's that one. And... That's the little mini haul that I got for her. But anyway, just wanted to come on and brace Sydney. And I'm going to keep, keep her scout name because I really, really do like it. And I was thinking I wouldn't have liked the blonde, even though I dyed my hair blonde. But I wasn't sure if I would have liked the blonde wig on her because they just do it with the two pigtails. But I do like this wig on her. And it's not like a platinum blonde. It looks almost closer to a strawberry blonde to me. But um, with the eye colors and everything and her olive skin tone, it works. Because on her picture, she looks fair. But to see her in person, she does have like a tannish olive complexion skin tone. But you know what? I'm going to pause this video and let me try her on the dark wake. Hold on one second. See, I didn't want to embarrass her showing her with her hair off but i do like her with the blonde hair and i like her with the dark hair and see that's what i'm saying with the different ways and stuff you can be versatile with them i love this wig on her as well so this all work out for me of course you know i need some brushing and things but um i really do love this wig I, i'm glad that i found her I do plan, um, would like to, I will be getting, um, another one, but, um, but she is absolutely gorgeous. She really is. And I love her smile with the teeth showing. It ain't a whole lot of teeth, because I always have liked the genie one, <laughs> but I just didn't want the blue. I just wanted different eyes. See, and back in the day when... You used to kind of get the Masterpiece doll. They would change, if you wanted different eyes, because my Gianni got the um, light auburn here. Because um, they had the dark auburn and the light auburn, and I got the light one. And her eye color is called gray-green, but they look more green than gray. I don't see no green. But if I'm not mistaken, I think she's the same. That's the same color eyes that... um. <laughs> Bohemian Natalie got, which is the um, gray brown, if I'm not mistaken. But I love her eyes. She is absolutely gorgeous. Because, like I said, I was looking for a small. Ever since Ruth brought her little smaller DD on, I really like that size. I never bring Gianni on because she's 47 inches and she stops in my chest and I can't do nothing with her. But this little one, 
Oh man, I can't wait to um, play dress up with her. She is just so adorable. And like I said, she got joints. She got tissue paper on her legs right now. Let me take, take this from here. A little toy. And like I said, with the joints in the hand, you can do things with the hands. And oh, her whole leg got tissue paper, but she can even bend her knees and sit down in the. Well, I'll show, I'll show it in another detailed video, but she can sit with her feet hanging off the thing. And I like the idea that. Wait a minute, where is that other? Uh, I had a toy sitting up here. Like this little um, bear they just gave me um, with my. Where is it gift? Now look at it. Isn't that cute? And she can hold her own toys. You gotta love it. And see, that's what I like about the Masterpiece dolls. I like the toddler rebounds, don't get me wrong. But because they got the joints and you can do different poses with them, that's what I like. Whereas with the rebound toddlers, you can put armatures in them and get them to do different movement. But they won't be able to like move their arm out and you know, or say hi and things and, you know, say, and her joints move really well and hold the pose, you know. So, I, that's what I like about these dolls. And, like I said, you can find them on the second-hand market. And, if you want one by, um, the lady who sculpted this doll was, um, Monica Levening. Pet Masterpiece Doll Vinyl by Monica Levening. I'll just put in Monica Levening. She does ball jointed porcelain as well as ball jointed vinyl. And she is the vinyl. So, but you can do so much with these here. And, um, several people that I know in the community, but on their channel, Bohemian Doll Lover has some, um, Ruth Sugar Lump Baby, she has them. Dawn World of Babies, she got Masterpiece. And Birdie Austin has taken over on, um, on YouTube. She got some scalps that I've never seen. And, and really, when I went into Rare Finds, she was the only one that was available in Rare Finds um, on the website. But, um... And I think it's MasterpieceDolls.com. But like I said, I don't think they produce them anymore. So when you find them, they are re really rare finds. And I told them if they come across any more, please contact me and let me know and stuff. But um, Birdie got some beautiful ones. And Birdie got one even smaller than her that she just got the other day. I'll link that video below this video. She got some beautiful Masterpiece Collections. So, um, and like I say, and with the different ways that you can put on them, and the reason I don't never want to get my doll wigs, um, glued down to the head, because I plan on making human hair wigs for mine. But, um, I'm going to keep them with these synthetic ones too, but I plan to make them human hair wigs, um, uh, with virgin hair. So, stay tuned for that video, um, coming up in the near future as well. But, um, and no, and I plan on making her different colors, so she could be just like me. <laughs> what a bunch of different ways and all the colors. But anyway, but, um, let me see what kind of, yeah, because her eyebrows are kind of dark colors, so she can, she can roll with it. And besides, I got black eyebrows with blowing hair, so, hey, it is what it is, and I wear all color wigs, to be honest with you. So, that's why. I love these hairs flying on. I got the fan blowing and everything right now. But I just have to come on and show y'all little Miss Sydney. And I really like her scalp name. I like that name, Sydney. So we'll be keeping that name for her. But isn't she the cutest, you guys? So welcome home, baby Sydney. I hope y'all like her little mini haul. I hope it was a friend where you could have seen the dresses. If not, I do apologize. <laughs> If it isn't a friend, when I watch the video back, then I'll take pictures and do a video slide at the end. But um, once again, it's your girl Earl. N new Sydney say, hey, titties and cuz. And you got a lot of cousins um, in the community. So we've got, we will be posting her up in the um, Masterpiece Dog Groups. 
as well as on Facebook, as well as Instagram. And congratulations for everybody who just recently got new Masterpiece dolls. And for the ones who um, have them in their collection, y'all stop bringing them dolls back out. Because, like I say, on my channel, it ain't going to be just about reborn. And, and she's not going to be one that y'all will see every week. I probably do a video with her once or twice a month. Um, but I plan on switching my dolls up. Because, like I say, I got Playline dolls. I got Masterpiece dolls. I got um, ball-jointed dolls. And reborns and silicone dolls. So... If you just love dolls, then this is the channel for you. If you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that red sign that says subscribe. Hit that bell that says all, so that way you will be notified every time I upload a video. I appreciate all my newcomers that's coming to the um to my channel and supporting my channel. I appreciate all you guys. Um, for everybody that does subscribe to my channel, I do subscribe back to your channel. For those who make comments underneath my videos, I go back and watch one of your videos and put a comment under your video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the content that I've been putting out lately. And as always, thanks for watching. I wanted to bring her back on to show y'all her standing up with her little shoes on. She got any little unicorn socks in her white shoe. And look at this. Bella Blessing, if you look in, you remember the unicorn you gave me? Sydney just loves her unicorn. Gotta love it. And she got on her little Boulder Bear Chili, the pink outfit to match Sydney's little outfit. And we got that unicorn from Bella Blessing. And here's Sydney, you guys. And you see the little two row of teeth in her pretty eyes. But I just wanted to come on and show y'all Sydney. With her unicorn. How good she can hold her own toy.